One, two, three, four. There was total craziness, and there had been for years around the Beatles. This religious controversy. The famous, more popular than Jesus, remark from John. Now you're sorry about what you said. Yes, yes. <laughs> You can't say it too much, though, that's the trouble. They were burning records in Memphis. The guys went on stage and thought they might get shot. Brian Epstein was going to cancel the tour. So I am concerned. I want to help. Security. And George said, I don't care. They'll only buy more records to replace the ones they burn. <laughs> Do you think that you're going to be going your own ways instead of being No. Free? If we're not listened to and we can't even hear ourselves, then we can't improve. They were trying to push back this image of the cuddly four mop tops. Swing in London was an immense movement. They were out there leading the revolution. We don't want to do what we've done already. Where do you go next? We well, make great art. And they had an idea of making a kind of alter ego called Sergeant Pepper. Huge ambition. They were the first people to do albums like this that weren't just soundtracks for dancing. Dozens and dozens of takes. Even the engineers were amazed with what the Beatles were asking them to do. The anticipation was enormous. Every shop you went into, it was playing. It was an event. The Maharishi had a fast track to inner bliss and enlightenment, but that was where the news of Brian Epstein's death reached them. Oh, we can't pay tribute in words. Paul went public about LSD. I don't think my fans are going to take drugs because I did. But as a public figure, it's got a responsibility. To no, it's you've got the responsibility not to spread this now. It's a great window into an incredible era of change. If you study the Beatles, you're studying the 60s. It is amazing how many generations are still listening to it. It is the ultimate album. It meant so much, and it still does. I think it may be tea time with any luck. Yeah. Bye.